welcome to Whispers. North, South, West, she don't fight. They are like husband and wife, slave and master. Arawa United Consultative Forum. The Arawa United Consultative Forum has called on northerners across the country not to retaliate against southerners following the recent clash between Yoruba and Aousa communities in Shasha Market in Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital. The group said the North and Southwest should not be engaged in such disputes. Likening them, likening them to husband and wife, or slave and master relationship, because of their similar traditions and religious beliefs. That is a fallacy. I beg to differ. It is a fallacy. Husband and wife, excuse me, slave and master. Do not top it all similar traditions and religious beliefs. Hell no. Hell no. We are like far apart in everything and on everything. So, excuse me, that's a fallacy. We just decided what whatever. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, go sit down. Go see don't husband and wife. So who is the husband? Who is the wife? Who is the slave? Who is the master? Waiting was an see for kids. Ah eh Uri she wish ye big boom a beauty yoro Ah Oh my God! Just imagine. Okay. Hmm. Just that way. People have reacted. Come and see reaction. Oh my God! They were serving them hot, hot. Hmm. That is the big problem with some typical sets of people who believe that they are superior to every other tribe. Can you imagine the useless narrative used by ACF, slave to master relationship, not brother to brother relationship? As a bona fide Yoruba, I am not inferior to anybody, neither am I a master to any other person from another tribe. Ye ye no Hmm. Hmm. Somebody said, mm, very true. It is a marriage of a man, Awusa, Fulani, to two women, Yoruba and Igbo. Whenever the young wife threatens to leave, the older wife will fight. Whenever the older wife wants to leave, the younger wife will fight. So the marriage remains in sadness. A husband, wife, or sleep, and no girl relationship. No sense. A question to Arya why is who is the slave and who is the master? Have you? Between the North and the Yoruba, the North know very well that it is. It will be of. It will be foolish of them to start a fight. If you, if you were asked why are you fighting. What will they say is the reason? Are they fighting for Fulanis, which are their president say they are foreigners, or are they fighting because the owner of the land doesn't want the foreigners again? Let me say this clearly. Cow is a personal business that doesn't even bring anything to the government table. So anyone that wants to do such business should remain in a state. If the North wants to fight the Yoruba because of the issue that happened in Shasha Market, if that is the case, 
Yoruba would have started the fight a long ago as a result of constant killing of Yoruba farmers by Fulanis, which the North have turned back and said they are no longer foreigners, but they are brothers. I rest my case. Well, to me, it's just a reminder to the Yoruba nation how the North sees them. They are being honest with this remark. Hmm. 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 Can you imagine? It is an insult. I believe it's an insult to make such statements. Yoruba nation has everything. Millions of educated people in every field, more than the North. How can a Yoruba nation who has about 80% educated people which lives to not who has less than 5% educated people. This is a slap on the face of a mighty nation like Yoruba. We know that the Southeast will never give them such room. Have you, can you imagine? Hmm. 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 Ah, ah. Husband and wife. Save our master. They don't even see us as equal. If one is slave and the other is master, then it's not worth it. Abio, it tells you their true intentions. Now you can see who has been behaving like the slaves and then the masters. They just expose themselves. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Ah, ah. He also went and wife, sleeve and master. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. And now that the days of slavery and impunity is over, the marriage can no longer work. We might have been into slavery before, but now we want our freedom. Hmm. If you want to understand this message very well, look at Oshibajo and Chinyobu today. Do you remember all that Chinyobu and Oshibajo did for Buari during the 215 and 219 campaigns? After the wife slipped to put the president on the high table, look where they are today. <laughs> Mm. Well, here's another take on it. That description best describes the relationship between the Fulanis and their conquered Aousas people in the north. Though some of the political and traditional leaders of the southwest must have sold their birthrights to the Fulanis, majority of the southwest people are too enlightened to be ruled over by Cambodians and Fulanis. Mm. 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 Yes, indeed. We are just like husband and wife. We have Wari as president. We have Oshibaju as vice president. We have Muhammad Lawal as senate president. They do have Femi as speaker. Let's continue with the marriage. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god can you imagine if some master should have a good should have a good relationship i don't blame them that's what organized religious teach us organized religious teachers does the bible says slaves obey your earthly master with respect and fear and sincerity of heart just as you would obey christ Ephesians. Six five, and this book was written by God according to slave master. <laughs> hmm. This kind, this kind of unguarded utterances, instead of binding the two reg regions together, it further destroyed destroyed the frail base hang on the thread. This analogy is the meaning. 
who are the slaves and who are their masters? Is that was the slave or is not the master? Have you come on so? Who is the slave? Still rubbing it on great old to do as what arrogance? Hmm. Hmm. Can you imagine? Ah, ah. Slave and master. Husband and wife. They don't even see us as equal. Ah. Hmm. Slave. Who shine our shoes? Who man our gates? Who dig our well? Who cut every log of firewood into pieces? Who part the dirt in the, at the home? Who strike pack abandoned metals? Who strike carry load for markets? You mean political slave? Born to rule mentality is over. Mm. Mm. We share nothing in common, so forget your acclaimed relationship. We understand better. Tinubu and Oshibadu are their slaves and not the Uduas or Batala descendants. Hmm. Hmm. That's the terrible mentality at the heart of the disenchantment and problem. We know who the husband is and who the wife is. And of course, who is the master and who is the slave in the North and South West relationship. The husband commands and dictates what happens in the family. The master commands the slave and the slave must obey. You can now say the reason that Sunday Bobo is trying to free the southwest from their chains. Hmm. 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 Not a slave. Why searching for the master? <laughs> One tribe is busy killing and kidnapping another tribe. Yet the tribe that is killing is the one shouting one Nigeria. All my Yoruba friends, wait, don't wait until your population reduced to two million before you fight back. Oh. Mm. 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 Can you imagine? Mm. Wow. So, guys, mm. there you have it. There you have it. Can you imagine? One of our religions says, out of the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Wow. Mm. Can you imagine? You see, even in, in marriages, there's room for divorce. Even if you're in a relationship and it is not working, you walk away, you leave, you part your ways. It is glaring. This marriage, this force, whatever it is, is not working. So, it's better we go our separate ways. Mm. 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 It's better. It's better. Mm. It's better. So, uh, uh, I, I will, uh, on this note, okay, I'll take this one. So, who is the husband? And who is the wife? Who is the slave? And just who is the master? What do you want people believe in freedom? Free enterprise and the right of the individual to aspire to greater heights. We reject slavery and forced marriage. We eat rape and detest kidnapping. We despise force, parity, and any attempt to subjugate us or others. We are always trying to be better and never knowingly embrace anything even resembling retrogression. This is why we have we have world leaders in various fields of human endeavor. We are vast in both Western and Eastern knowledge. We teach Mandarin to the Chinese in India. What exactly do we have in common? 
besides accident of geographical proximity. So, so guys, uh, yeah, do you agree? Do you agree? Because I totally, totally know it is a fallacy. No, oh, and never like husband and wife, nothing like that. Steve and master, nothing like that. Everybody should just mind their talk. That's just it. So, I leave this with you here. <laughs> Until I come your way again. Bye.